Now we're going to move on to building out our comments screen. So when a user taps on this comments button associated with a given post, we'll take them to a screen where we're going to display any comments that other users have made. It's going to consist of that user's photo URL, their post, their message itself, as well as the timestamp for when it was created. And then down at the bottom, we're going to have an input where users can provide new comments and post them. Note that this text input isn't going to have any validation, so technically users will be able to provide just an empty string and post it. So for this, we want to conceptualize how our comments are going to be added. Our comments are going to form their own collection with the collection ID of comments, and they're going to be linked to a given post by its ID. So for example, let's grab a post ID Then we'll have our comments collection. Off of comments, we'll provide that post ID, which will then be linked to a, another collection called comments. And this is where our comments related to this post are going to be stored. So that's how we're going to associate a given post with its comments to display and of course each comment is going to have its own ID as well as its fields such as a comment field with the comment text that a user has provided. So that's just to give you a brief overview of what this is going to look like when we actually add a new comment. Of course there's going to be more fields here including information about the user as well as the timestamp for when it was added. So let's just delete this collection and we'll begin by going back to post.dart, we want to find within build post footer our comments button. And when a user taps on this button, we want to execute in the return of this arrow function, a new function called show comments. And this new function is going to have the argument of context. We'll pass in context because we're going to need to create show comments outside of our post widget. Then we're going to have a post ID named argument to which we'll pass the post ID. The owner ID will be set. This argument will be set to the owner ID and media URL to media URL. And the reason that we need to pass through context is to be able to actually push to the page that we're going to be creating comments.dart in our pages folder. So we'll head underneath our post widget and we'll create our show comments function where we'll have our build context and then our named arguments. The first one will be a string of post ID and a string of owner ID and then a string of media URL. Then we'll say navigator.push, pass in context, then the material page route which will have its builder function, we'll provide context, and then we'll make sure to return our comments page, and we'll pass down to comments all of the arguments that we accepted in this function. We're going to have slightly different argument names for comments, however, so we're going to have an argument of post ID set to post ID, then an argument of post owner ID set to owner ID, and then post media URL set to media URL. And we'll make sure to import the comments file here within post. Now let's head to comments.dart in our pages directory, where we'll create our named arguments with the help of our the variables, a final string of post ID, a final string of post owner ID, and a final string of post media URL. Then to the comments constructor, we'll pass in this dot post ID, this dot post owner ID, and this dot post media URL. And we want to pass these values down to our comment state so we can duplicate all that, we can copy all of that and paste it in right here. We'll just change the constructor to comments state and provide 
all of those values in, as arguments to the common state function when we create state. So post ID will be this dot post ID, post owner ID, this dot post owner ID, and post media URL, this dot post media URL. Note that we're not going to need these values that we're passing down to comment state until we need to get or add a comment. So right now we're going to return from build our scaffold. It's going to consist of an app bar where we'll use our reusable header, which we'll import. We'll pass in context. The title text will be comments. Then for the body, we'll have a column where we'll have a list of children widgets. And it's first going to consist of an expanded widget where its child is going to be set to build comments. And in this function, we're going to display all of our comments. So we'll create that. Right now, we'll just return the text comment. After that, we'll have a divider. And then at the bottom, we'll have our list tile, which consists of our text form field and the post button. So the title will be a text form field. And we'll want to give it a controller. So we'll create in state a text editing controller, which we'll set to a the variable comment controller. So we'll create that and pass that down to our form field. For decoration, we'll use input decoration and provide the label text of write a comment. And for the function on field submitted when our form is submitted. Actually, we'll remove that. We're going to provide instead a trailing button as the only way to submit our post. So we'll use an outline button where it's on pressed is going to add our comment. So we'll just print add comment. Its border side is going to be set to border side dot none. And for its child, we'll have a text widget with the text post. Now let's save both of these files and try navigating to our comments page for this post. So we'll tap on the button and we see comments. We see our input at the bottom and the post button, which we can tap to add a comment.